Hello and welcome to this method of improving alcohol through a quasi-aging method. This uses a substance called glycerin. Adding glycerin smooths the rough edges over and helps mitigate some of the sharp edges found in fresh or raw alcohol. This is particularly popular with moonshine, but can be used with other alcohols. It's not exactly okay with Puritans. But if you're happy to use what works, it can be very effective. Glycerin is friendly for vegans, vegetarians, and anyone else. This is because it's a naturally occurring product produced by just about everything that lives. It's present in animal fat and vegetable fat. When you're looking at it chemically, it's considered an organic alcohol. This is one reason why it mates so well with moonshine. When talking about it as an alcohol, we call it glycerol rather than glycerin. Visually, it's a clear, almost oil-like liquid that tastes sweet. It's not something the human body can digest because if you don't have the right enzymes to break it down. This is why you can find it called for in sugar-free or calorie-free foods. It's a colorless, odorless syrup when used as an aging product. And because it's chemically an alcohol, it's somewhat miscible. It does, however, add some body and volume to your alcohol. Looking at glycerin from a chemist's perspective, it's quite an interesting and unusual chemical. To start with, it's hygroscopic, which means it likes to hold onto water, or more accurately, water absorbent. If you were to leave a container of glycerin out on the bench, it would begin to draw water right out of the air. Once you start combining it with alcohol, preferably something that's not pure alcohol, it mixes with it and helps to pull in some of that water. This process, plus some of the other elements in it, can prove quite useful in improving chemical reactions. It also has a very low freezing point. This can be useful again in things like wine. Adding it to wine, particularly champagne or other sparkling wines, will help with the disporging process. This will improve sedimentation and creates a portion of liquid that's in the neck, and this means that it will be frozen there. This gives you a nice separation out. It lets you remove some of that material using gas pressure, but not lose much in the way of liquid, which means your bottle of wine has removed some of the matter that you don't want in there that would make it unappealing, but you don't really lose any volume of what you've made. Glycerin can also be mixed with dextrose, and this can help to create concentrates. Concentrates of extracts, something like, say, vanilla paste and similar very strongly flavoured herbal extracts that want to be stored for a period. By combining it with both sugar and glycerin, you get a relatively stable, long-lasting product that has some sweetness to it. This can be helpful when adding it to an alcohol, so you have something like vodka, you add your flavour base with this particular combination of glycerin and dextrose, normally a 5-15% mixture, and this creates a flavoured vodka. With this kind of knowledge about what glycerin is used for and some of the chemistry, you can begin to look at just how it's used in aging. We've already mentioned some of its applications. First is in the preparation for an extract. Historically, this has been used to cover up flavours of things like quinine, where quinine being quite astringent and, frankly, not particularly pleasant, on a large enough dose to be effective as a medicine, could be covered up and people would readily consume it by mixing with coffee or chocolate. Glycerin is also quite dense, and so when you add it to something with a slightly basic pH, it is clear and it begins to become quite miscible with the rest of the solution. Once in there, it starts grabbing onto things that are floating around in solution, solids, and precipitates them out bring them to the bottom of it. This helps to clear it. By not only removing the solids, but also ensuring anything that's going to react is brought together. 
you can achieve a lot with very little when it comes to glycerin. Commercially, a 5% glycerin and 15% dextrose solution is the best balance that's going to achieve both clarity but not be too sweet. If you're looking at trying to modify a already distilled or created beverage, then you can forgo the dextrose in its entirety and just use the glycerin. You're looking at approximately 5 milliliters for most things, going up to maybe 15 milliliters at the high end. You want to add less where possible. If you add too much, you're going to struggle to get some of those flavors back. If you add too little, you may not notice the difference. For example, whiskey needs 5 milliliters per liter. Rum is about 8 milliliters, and schnapps is about 8 milliliters per liter. Kahlua, which is a coffee type drink, needs 15 milliliters per liter. You can see how the stronger the flavor and the sharper the flavor with something like coffee, the more glycerin you need to add. That's because it helps to not only remove some of that aggressive flavor by separating it out, but it also covers it up so that when you're drinking it, your taste buds aren't able to access it as readily. While glycerin is by no means a complete replacement for proper aging, or ways of getting around aging, it is a far more convenient and in many cases cost-effective method of achieving an aging result without having to wait months or buy expensive storage equipment. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it interesting, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions that you have below.